I'm sorry about that. We got cut off before. I got distracted for a moment. My hubby wants something from me, and uh, so I have to get it. So I got it, and he's happy, and I have to continue my uh, video. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have to go back to this uh, piece that we were talking about. Um, here's what I do. I joined the hug farm, organic farm. I learned from them that you, when you grow peas like this, you have to snuff off the top of the pea, you know, where the shoots going up, you know, you see that, if you can see it. This is, this is the peas that just grow. And um, I, what I do is I snuff the top off like that, see, about, yeah, about that. And you do what you do with that, you put it on your sandwiches, hamburgers, anything that you put lettuce on when you um, make a hamburger or hot dog, anything. And you put it inside or if you make uh, some kind of tacos or stuff, you put that green in there and uh, it's delicious. Well, right now, because it's just only one, I put it in my mouth. Mm. The reason they do that is because if you want the peas to uh, uh, give you more fruit, more peas, you have to do that so that it can branch out. And this is what happened. You see here, I cut that off about, mm, I would say, uh, a week ago right here. And here's what happened something come up next to next to the like um, right to the leaf underneath here I don't know if you can see that that's gonna shoot and gonna provide more peas so that's how you multiply your peas instead of one um, um, uh, one stuck up so that can branch around you know it will like this one here it will I already cut that about a week ago so there's a you know that's the one that I cut up in the top so that's gonna make some more peace up you know and if the weather permit you can always keep doing that on the top maybe I would say you know a few times and then that's it then you stop and then all, all it does is just gonna make more peace you know and uh, supply you a lot of uh, peace you know so that's what I do with that and it's excellent, you know, so it's a double purpose. You don't just have the the um, the fruit of the peas but also the, the green and it's so good for you, chlorophyll wise. So I do that. So that's what I have here. So I'm going to wait in about maybe a week and then I know it's coming already so I will see if there's a peas somewhere. I don't see any yet, but it's coming. So that's pretty good. I like that. So, oh, here, there's one starting already. You see that? Yep. So I think this is the stir fry one. Some of them are, I mix them actually. Some of them are um, the, you know, the sugar snap piece. But a lot of uh, Chinese for stir frying. And uh, yeah, I don't really grow the, the, piece that you take in a pot you know I just I think to me if you have room that's good you know but if you limited the room then you just use the other kind you know I just planted the other kind the, the flat one where you can use for stir frying and uh, also for um, eating the sugar snap oh I love those so that's uh, my uh, piece I have some more on that side over there but uh, I'm just gonna take a picture from here so that uh, uh, so I don't have to double my uh, you know my video so anyway that's that that's my peas and well you know how about my romaine lettuce here it's in a pot this is about I would say a month old now it's ready for harvest and it's ready for uh, salad and again oh look at that I cracked my pot um, there's a net pot in the bottom 
wicks up the water to go to the soil and it, it keeps the, the the soil moist and it keeps the plant grow and of course I, I water it with compost tea every week again so wow compost tea does wonder here in the garden I'm telling you look at my rhubarb this is one kind of big rhubarb see that that's very cool I love rhubarb and I use them for a supplement like a Instead of using uh, cranberries, I just use that for, you know, side dish for pork chops. Oh, it's really good. You, you cook about a half a cup of, you put a half a cup of sugar and a cup of, of, of those, uh, chop uh, the, the stem, the stalk. And you chop them, a cup of those, and you put them in a pot. Simmer it, boil it and simmer it for like 10 minutes. And it, it creates a jam. And that's what you use for... Uh, and then you put it as a side dish for your pork chops or anything that you eat, like uh, any meat that you like, you know. But it's really good with pork chops. I prefer it with pork chops. Okay. Oops. I, there's my onions growing there. <laughs> One. I harvest my uh, uh, lettuce out of this pot. So now my um, my uh, basil is coming. Of course, I planted my cilantro over there. So. But my basil is coming. There's some more salatos in there. Oh, they're so good. Mm. Okay, so that's that. What else is in here? Let me see if I can go. Oops, there's my tripod. My camera stand. But I just rather walk with this right now because uh, my hand seems okay today. Usually it's shaking. You know, I have a uh, too much work, I guess, sometimes, you know, when you work. Yeah. Your hand shakes sometimes. So anyway, here's my green. Now where is my masculine they call it? But look how good they are, how healthy they are. It's so sunny today. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a lot of them here, including my chives. And uh, anyway, that's for the day. Uh, oops. I have a visitor. Oh, that's my son running away from the camera. <laughs> Uh, I captured him a lot of times. What? What is that? Just for your information, seven. I'm sorry, eight bucks for four gigs of flash drive space and four gigs of SD memory. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Phil. Oh, anyway, ooh. You know what? I want to show you all my chickadees here. Oh, my girls, the chickens. See? Hi, girls. Phil, did you feed them? Anyway, oh, the worst thing I believe they eat. So, hi girls, what's up? What are you guys up to? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Okay, girls, say hi. Hi, Mama. What? What's up, you girls? I can't see some of them over there. Ah, oh, there's my white one, leg one, white, white leg one. There's my long, my Rhode Island Reds right there. So anyway, so Phil, this has no color, huh? huh? This camera has no color. What happened? Ah, uh, it's kind of blunt. I mean, it's colorless. No. Well, I guess. Yeah. Well, ooh. Forgot about this. Here's my fennel here. Oh, they're getting big. My friend Barbara gave this to me, so I'm gonna keep it going. And they reseed every year, actually. If you let them uh, go to seeds and they reseed, of course, my Jerusalem artichokes here. You see, Jerusalem artichokes, if you are in the wilderness, or there comes a time that people are starving and they're really gonna look for food this plant you can't tell that it's food the tube the tubers the roots is really good you go on YouTube or online check for Jerusalem artichokes and you'll find a lot of tutorials about that and they're very good to have in your garden because they're carefree you can put them in the shade they don't care where they want to grow. They just grow, and they have beautiful flowers in in the you know in the summer. 
they're like sunflowers so I would consider that in the garden um, again what I'm saying about you know if you want to hide your food during starvation days or you know those days when that comes you can plant that without people knowing it's a food it's food so you know it's good to have it in the garden or anywhere where you are you know and if uh, you are in the jungle hey it's good too then you can plant it over there somewhere and you know it will hey, you're gonna survive that way if you know how to grow those anyway so this is my garden today oops my son is right in my garden and I think he's harvesting mint he loves my mint in my garden keeps his breath uh, fresh <laughs> anyway <laughs> all right I think I'm teasing him anyway oh I forgot about this this is what you call ship sorrel ship sorrel is sour leaf is sour I'm gonna taste one um, it's good for salad it's good for sauteing and it's tart it's kind of sour but if you put them on the hot dogs with mustard and stuff like that on a bun they're very good and it's very good for you uh, now I did mention about my rhubarb that the rhubarb roots is one of the ingredients to cure cancer and this is one of them there's five um, ingredients in uh, isiac tea which is isiac tea is the uh, alternative to cure cancer you go to the health food store and you'll find isiac tea a lot a lot of uh, health food stores supply those but isiac tea uh, e s s i a c isiac tea and this is one of the ingredients the ship soil i'm sure they use the leaves or the roots i'm not really familiar with but it's very good to put to include it in your diet put in a salad put it in your sandwiches put it in your anything that you like to put it in uh, when it comes for green it's very good okay so that's the ship sorrel I don't know if you can uh, recognize that you know there you go I don't know if I make camera is looking good in the video I'm not so sure but I'm gonna try anyway I'm gonna upload it and see what it looks like so that's a ship sorrel there's two now one of them is bordak root bordak root i think is number is also part of the five ingredients in that uh, is yak tea so there's two more that i have to uh, tell you next time if i can uh, get hold of them but anyway but it's already available in the health food store but don't take my word for it but if you want to go natural i would advice to go and get that you know easy at tea for cancer and be faithful you know uh, natural stuff doesn't just heal you right away it takes time sometimes three months sometimes six months you know so it takes time but it's better than using radiation and all of that kind of stuff it's garbage but anyway I, it's just my opinion you know so okay so I think I got a few minutes left in this uh, segment and I will see you on the next segment I will uh, I think next time I'm gonna do a tutorial you know like really showing you what I do in my garden and you know how to put all this stuff in the pots and you know what kind of soil and you know anyway well happy Memorial Day again and I will see you soon happy gardening and be healthy and cheers bye